disarming, that type of thing. So as we're uh, engaged, we can work at it from a, a cross stick position off of number one. We move in just like this. See that again. I stop him, I'm moving in, I'm going here. I stop that strike here, I move in with the butt strike. Stop it, move in with the butt strike, we're in here. He stops my movement, okay? He picks my movement up and checks. One, two, three, two, three. I stop, this is where I could step back and strip his weapon away or smash his hand or hit his hand or come inside, hook and go to this lock, slip into there to get to that lock. A lot of different variables on that. We do a single Sinwali, step back just a little bit, and we got one, two, three, four. I target that hand, I pick his arm up, I close. Now we've got the energy drill going. Basically, who but? Stop, move, check. Stop, move, check. As I stop, I can lunge in there and finger jab. Slide back to this area and hand smash, hand smash. Hit to the head with an abanico, just like that. I can rotate this wrist in and come into a lock this way. There's also a hit here, or this can come inside and engage him as a choke, okay, or a lock. A lot of variables off that. There again, he comes in. I'm stopping this way. I could pass this. Or, or jerk and pull that off balance. That allows me to actually circle this in here and this gives me a dynamic lock. If I'm in a position to where I'm here, I can also roll to the outside and back fist. From there I could pick up his stick, smash his stick, press his stick forward. Okay, you see that? Go back inside. I stop, I roll and I hit with the back fist. I pick that up, I smash and I check. Now I'm coming inside and smashing.